Hi, this is Scott Dudley, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can restore to a previous version in Looker Studio, which is not an overly well-known feature at, at this moment in time. In fact, I only just discovered it myself a few weeks back, but it's certainly extremely valuable, and it can save you a lot of time and effort um, compared to having to start from scratch. So, uh, once you've made changes to a report, you'll notice that this option here to undo is enabled. So basically this will uh, allow you to keep undoing all of the previous changes that you've made up until the point where you either hit the view button here to view the report or you close the browser tab. All right, so if I click on undo, it will take me back to how the report was before I made the most recent change. And then you'll notice that it is disabled the option here. You can't go back any further. So any changes made before that um, was before I either closed the browser tab or I actually viewed the report. So what if you wanted to change it back to how it was three days ago? How can you do that? Well, what you need to do just click on file menu up the top here and then version history and then we've got two options here we can either name the current version or we can see the version history so what i'll do first is to name this current version which will make sense once i show you the version history so if we click on name current version we could name this um I don't know, most recent with bar chart. Uh, and then maybe, yeah, so we'll just leave it at that and then we'll click on save. And then if we go to file version history, C version history, it shows all of the versions right back to the very beginning when I first started working on this report on May the 4th. Okay, and you'll notice that the one that I just named most recent with bar chart is shown up here as the second option. That's the last one that I've saved. And then it's got the current version above that here, which um, is after I've made these changes. And then it's got one here before that that I named as well. And it's got another one down the bottom here as well. So if you don't name these versions, then it will just show the timestamp basically here. But what you can do in here is you can click on the three dots and click on rename. So if I wanted to rename this version um, Wednesday before pie chart, click on enter, then it updates the name and it also, once you've clicked on it, it shows how the version looked at that particular moment in time. So if we go back here to May the 10th, we we'll click on that and it'll change once again. And if this is the version that we decide that we want to restore so that we can continue working on it how it was at this particular time, then all we need to do is click on restore this version at the very top here. And it gives you just one final warning to make sure that you do want to actually confirm these changes. And it's just basically saying your report will revert to the version from May 10, which is the one that I chose. Click on restore. And then now the current version is the same as it was back in that um, particular moment in time. And if we wanted to restore it back to how it was before, then we'll just once again go to File, Version History, C Version History. And we could click on this one here, which it can show you has been restored. And this was the one just after I renamed it and then it will change it back and we click on you can you can view it and then click on restore again restore and then it will take you back again to how it was originally so that way you can move between versions it's a great idea to name the versions as you're working on them so it obviously it makes sense in the future otherwise you've just got a whole list of timestamps and just looking at those timestamps it's not so obvious exactly what you're doing at that moment in time but of course you can get a preview of how it looks and from there if you need to then you just restore that version so anyway hopefully that helps if you've got any questions with that just let me know thanks